Hey guys, welcome to yet another one of my tutorials. Um, today we're going to be doing FizzBuzz in PHP. And um, you may be wondering why am I doing yet a third video on FizzBuzz itself. Because um, I did um, one for Python and one for JavaScript. Well, I just wanted to show you guys that when you learn a problem and you know basic coding skills, you can pretty much translate it into any language without many hassles. Um, especially between Python, JavaScript, and PHP, they're pretty much written the same, and uh, syntactically there are some differences, but it's a lot easier to go between the three. So today I'm going to show you just a quick uh, way to do that. I'm not going to go into what FizzBuzz is or even how to do it, because we've covered it in my other videos. I just want to show you that it can be done quite easily with just a few changes to it. So first we need to do our for loop and then uh, that's going to be our main bread and butter here so i is equal to one and then we're going to set our variable i to be greater than or equal to 100 and then we're going to do i again plus plus like that okay now we need our if statement uh, i hate this stupid thing okay we need our if statement so if, and then we're going to set this to i is modulus 3, and i modulus 5, oops, 0, we'll do an echo. Now with these, you got to do a, um, a little uh, HTML inside of them as well. We'll say fizz buzz. Okay, so we can actually back up out of that. Else if. Alright. And then we're going to do i modulus 3 equals 0 echo and then we're going to say <coughs> fizz yet another else if and if i modulus 5 equals 0 echo out buzz else just echo and then this is where it gets fun here okay we need to put yet another um, break statement and actually I gotta put break statements later, uh, farther up as well but uh, I just didn't get around to it right there and then we're gonna do a concatenation with I okay so here we also need to add a break statement And here we need to add a break statement. Alright, so save this as fizzbuzz. And we'll go and fix the noobish error that I've made up here somewhere. Oh. If I... I don't know why I had that twice there. Okay, I modulus 3. Save. Okay. So we have all of our break statements in here to uh, go to the new line when we print this out. We have fizz, buzz, fizz, and then buzz. Alright, we should be able to just run it. And as you can see here, it works. 1, 2, fizz, 4, buzz, 5, or fizz, 7, 8, fizz, buzz, 11, fizz, 13, 14, fizz, buzz. So it goes all the way to 100. And does it properly all the way to 100. Alright guys, I hope that helped. Um, again, like I said, I'm not going to explain the parameters of what FizzBuzz is or how it works. If you want to see that, simply just watch one of my other tutorial videos on it. Um, I have it on my website at www.pbswebdesign.com. Under the tutorial section, you can see one for JavaScript and one for Python as well. So it does go more in depth and explain to you how to do this. The main reason, as I said before, I wanted to show you how easy it is to convert 
into different languages when to learn and break apart a problem. The fundamentals of programming are pretty much the same across most languages. Um, while loops, for loops, variables, um, things like that, they pretty much carry over for everything. Um, there are some exceptions, obviously, but um, once you know the basics and you, you pick apart a problem, uh, you can pretty much learn how to create or recreate that problem in many different languages without much issue. Uh, you just got to kind of be familiar with the syntax um, with the language of your choice. So that's all I wanted to show you was that it was relatively simple to um, replicate this uh, problem in PHP along with Python and JavaScript. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.